learning objectives after studying this learning module learners will be able to understand the meaning of debentures and difference between debentures and shares know the types of debentures know the different accounting treatments for debentures issued at par premium or discount understand the concept of issue of debentures other than cash learn the concept of issue of debentures as collateral security explain the methods of writing of discounts loss on issue of debentures know the methods of redemption of debentures and accounting treatments understand the concept of sinking fund issue and redemption of debentures meaning of debentures the word debenture is derived from a latin word debere which means to borrow debenture is a written document that acknowledges a debt under the common seal of the company it includes a contract for repayment of principal after a specified period of time or at specified interval or at the option of the company and for payment of interest at a fixed rate payable usually either half yearly or yearly on fixed dates according to section 2 subsection 12 of the companies act 1956 debenture includes debenture stock bond sand and any other securities of a company whether constituting a charge on the assets of the company or not according to topham debenture is a document given by a company as evidence of debt to the holder usually arising out of a loan and most commonly secured by a charge what is bond this is also an instrument used for debts but these days this is used by semi government or non government organization difference between shares and debentures there are many differences between the shares and debentures ownership a debenture holder is a loan creditor of the company whereas a person who is having the share of the company has become the owner of the company because a share is the part of the capital owned whereas a debenture is the borrowed capital difference between shares and debentures return a return on shares is called as dividend while a return on debentures is called interest the rate of interest paid to the company for debentures is predecided whereas the rate of interest on shares may vary depending upon the profit of the company the payment of dividend depends upon profit whereas the payment of interest is to be paid even if there is no profit repayment generally the amount of shares is not required to be repaid during the lifetime of the company but the debentures are issued for a time period and after the expiry of the time period the amount is to be repaid however an amendment in 1998 to the companies act 1956 has permitted the companies to buy back its own shares from the market particularly when the price of its share in the market is lower than the book value voting rights shareholders enjoy voting rights in the company whereas debenture holders do not have any voting rights in the company security shares are not secured by any kind of charge whereas the debentures are generally secured by a fixed or floating charge over the assets of the company convertibility shares cannot be converted into debentures whereas debentures can be converted into shares if mentioned in the terms of the issue and in that case these are known as convertible debentures types of debentures on the basis of security and tenure types of debentures a company can issue different kind of debentures as per the requirement which are as follows from the point of view of security in this category debentures can be divided into two categories 
A. Secured debentures Secured debentures are the debentures for which a charge is created on the assets of the company in case of payment defaulters. The charge may be fixed or floating. The fixed charge is created for those assets which are held by a company for use in operations, not meant for sale whereas the floating charge is levied on all assets excluding those assigned to the secured creditors. b. Unsecured debentures In unsecured debentures, there is no specific charge on the assets of the company. But at times, a floating charge can be created on these debentures by default. Normally, these kinds of debentures are not issued. From the point of view of tenure, in this category, again, debentures can be classified as A. Redeemable debentures. These are those kinds of debentures which are payable at the time of expiry period in a lump sum or in installments during the lifetime of the company. Debentures can be redeemed either at par or at a premium. B. Irredeemable debentures. In this kind of debentures, the company does not give any commitment for repayment of money borrowed by issuing debentures. These are redeemable at the time of winding up of the company. These debentures are also known as perpetual debentures. Types of debentures on the basis of convertibility and point of view coupon rate point from the point of view of convertibility. In this category, the debentures can be divided into two categories. A. Convertible debentures. The debentures which can be converted into equity shares or in any other security are called as convertible debentures. These debentures are convertible either at the option of the company or the debenture holder. These debentures are either fully convertible or partly convertible. Non-convertible debentures These debentures cannot be converted into shares or in any other securities. Most debentures issued by companies fall in this category. From coupon rate point of view, as per this category, the debentures can be divided into two categories. A. Specific Coupon Rate Debentures The debentures which are issued at a specific rate of interest are called as coupon rate debentures. The specified rate may either be fixed or floating. The floating interest rate is usually tagged with the bank rate. B. Zero Coupon Rate Debentures These debentures are not issued at a specific rate of interest. Such debentures are issued at a substantial discount to compensate the investors. In these kinds of debentures, difference between the nominal value and the issue price is treated as the amount of interest related to the duration of the debentures. Registered and Unregistered Debentures From the point of view of registration, as per this category, the debentures can be divided as A. Registered debentures These debentures are those debentures in which all details of the debenture holders like names, addresses and particulars of holding of debentures are entered and kept in a register by the company. Such debentures can be transferred only by executing a regular transfer deed. B. Unregistered debentures. These debentures are transferred by way of delivery and the company pays the interest on debentures to the person who produces the interest coupon attached to the debentures. Issue of debentures. The debentures are issued in same procedure as we follow in issue of shares. The investors who are interested in applying for debentures, they apply on the prospectus issued by company. 
The company may either ask for the entire amount to be paid on application or by means of installments on application, on allotment and on various calls. Like shares, debentures can also be issued at par, at a premium or at a discount. They can also be issued for consideration other than cash or as a collateral security. Issue of debentures for cash Debentures are said to be issued at par when their issue price is equal to the face value. The journal entries recorded for such issue are as under. If whole amount is received in one installment. 1. On receipt of application money. 2. On allotment of debentures. Issue of debentures on cash, discount and premium. If debenture amount is received in two installments. 1. On receipt of application money. 2. For adjustment of application's money on the allotment. 3. For allotment money due. 4. On receipt of allotment money. If debenture money is received in more than two installments. A. On making the first call. B. On receipt of the first call. Issue of debentures at discount. When a debenture is issued at a price below than the normal price, then it is said to be issued at discount. It will be treated as a capital loss and is shown under the line item other non-current assets or other current assets, depending upon the time period in which it is to be written off. This discount amount is to be written off either by debiting it to profit and loss or out of securities premium reserve account, if any, during the lifetime of debentures. This amount is to be written off during 12 months of the data of the balance sheet. Debentures issued at premium. When a debenture is issued more than its normal price, then it is said to be issued at a premium. This extra amount is credited to securities premium reserve account and is shown on the liabilities side of the balance sheet under the head reserves and surpluses. Oversubscription When the number of debentures offered to the public is less than the number of debentures applied by the people, then it is said oversubscription. The extra money received by the company on oversubscriptions be retained for making various adjustments for allotment and the respective calls. But the money received from applicants to whom no debentures have been allotted will be refunded to them. Issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. At times, a company purchases asset from vendors not on cash but issues debentures as consideration other than cash. In such cases also, the debentures can be issued at par, discount or on premium. The entries would be done as follows. A. On purchase of assets. B. On issue of debentures. At par. At premium. At discount. At times a company take over or purchase liabilities of another concern. In such condition, the purchase consideration will be equal to the value of net assets taken over. And if the whole amount of the consideration is paid by issue of debentures, the journal entry will be Issue of debentures as a collateral security. A collateral security can be defined as a secondary or additional security other than primary security when a company takes loan or overdraft from a bank or any other financial institution. If the value of primarily security is less than the value of loan, then the company may issue its own debentures to the lenders in addition to some other assets already pledged. 
Such an issue of debentures is known as debentures issued as collateral security. Terms of issue of debentures Whenever a company issues debentures, it generally mentions the terms on which the debentures will be redeemed at the time of maturity. Redemption of debentures means giving the liability on account of debentures by repayment made to the debenture holders. Debentures can be redeemed either at par or at a premium. The common six situations that are found in issue and redemption of debentures are as follows. A. Issued at par and redeemed at par. B. Issued at discount and redeemed at par. C. Issued at premium and redemption at par. D. Issued at par and redeemed at premium. E. Issue at discount and redemption at premium. F. Issued at premium and redeemed at premium. Interest on debentures. When a company issues debentures, it is required to pay interest on debentures at the fixed percentage, half yearly, periodically until debentures are repaid. Interest on debenture is a charge against the profit of the company and must be paid whether the company has earned any profit or not. According to Income Tax Act 1961, a company must deduct income tax at a prescribed rate from the interest payable on debentures if it exceeds the prescribed limit. It is called Tax Deduction at Source, TDS, and is to be deposited with the tax authorities. Accounting Treatment for Interest on Debentures the following entries will be made in the journal for interest on debentures. When interest is due for payment of interest to debenture holders on transfer debenture interest account to statement of profit and loss on payment of tax deducted at source to the government writing of discount or loss on issue of debentures the discount or loss on issue of debentures is not to be written off in the year debentures were issued, since the benefit of the debentures would earned by the company till their redemption. The discount or loss on it is, therefore, treated as capital loss. The discount may be charged to securities premium account or may be written off over three to five years through statement of profit and loss as per guidelines issued by ICAI. In case the capital profits are not sufficient, then this amount can be written off against the revenue profits. There are two methods that can be used to write off the loss or discount on debentures against revenue profits. A. Fixed installment method. In case the debentures are redeemed at the end of a specified period, the total amount of discount should be written off in equal installments of fixed amount over that period. b. Fluctuating installment method. The amount of discount under this method goes on reducing every year and so this method may also be known as reducing installment method. When debentures are repaid by annually or in installments, the discount should be written off in the ratio of debentures outstanding as at the end of each accounting year. Redemption of debentures Redemption of debentures means to repayment of the amount of debentures by the company. There are four ways to redeem the debentures. Payment in lump sum. The company can redeem the debentures by paying the lump sum amount to the debenture holders at the time of maturity. Payment in installments. Under this method, the debenture, the debentures, can be redeemed in installments 
on the specified date during the tenure of the debentures. The total amount of liability of debentures is divided by the number of years. Purchase in open market In this way, the company purchases its own debentures for the purpose of cancellation. In this act, redemption of debentures done by purchase the debentures in the open market, conversion into shares or new debentures. A company can redeem its debentures by converting the debentures into shares or a new type of debentures. These new shares or debentures can be issued at par, at a discount or at a premium. It is to be noted, if debentures were originally issued at discount, the actual amount realized from them at the time of issue would be used as the basis for computing the actual number of shares to be issued. It may be noted that this method is applicable only to convertible debentures. Consideration to be taken care for redemption Factors to be taken care while redemption of debentures Time of redemption of debentures A company may redeem its debentures before the due date if the article of the company allows. Sources of redemption of debentures The debentures can be sources either through capital or profits. Out of capital the companies who got an exemption from creating DRR can redeem the shares from the capital out of profits. When any company planning to redeem its debentures purely out of profit, it should transfer 100% of the face value of the redeemable debentures to DRR out of the surplus available for payment of dividend out of capital or profits. If a company redeems its debentures by using profits or capital partially, it does not transfer 100% of face value of outstanding debentures of a particular class to DRR out of the surplus available for payment of dividend. Journal Entries for Redemption by Payment in Lump Sum If debentures are to be redeemed at par, if debentures are redeemed at premium. As per the provisions of the Companies Act 2013, the company keep aside a part of profits every year and transfer it to debenture redemption reserve for the redemption of debentures until the debentures are redeemed. The following points should be taken care for journal entry. A. If a company has issued debentures, it shall create a debenture redemption reserve for the redemption of such debentures and an adequate amount shall be credited from profits every year by the time debentures are redeemed. b. The amount credited to the debenture redemption reserve shall be used for redemption of debentures only. Debenture Redemption Reserve Account 1. According to Rule 18.7 of the Company's Rules 2014, the company should create a debenture redemption reserve keeping in mind the following conditions. a. The debenture redemption reserve should be created out of profits available for paying the dividend. b. The company should create DRR with as per the following conditions. 1. No DRR is required for debentures issued by all India Financial Institutions, AIFIs, regulated by Reserve Bank of India and banking companies for both public as well as privately placed debentures. 2. For NBFCs registered with the RBI and for housing finance companies registered with the National Housing Bank, DRR will be 25% of the value of outstanding debentures issued through public issue as present SEBI, Issue and Listing of Debt Securities, Regulations 2008 and no DRR is required in the case of privately placed debentures. 3. 
For other companies, including manufacturing and infrastructure companies, the adequacy of DRR will be 25% of the value of outstanding debentures issued through the public issue as per present SEBI Issue and Listing of Debt Securities Regulations 2008. 4. 25% DRR is required in the case of privately placed debentures by listed companies. For unlisted companies issuing debentures on private placement basis, the DRR will be 25% of the value of outstanding debentures. Debenture Redemption Reserve Account 2. C. Every company required to create debenture redemption reserve shall on or before the 30th day of April in every year. It can invest or deposit a sum which shall not be less than 15% of the amount of its debentures maturing during the year ending on the 31st day of March of the next year. In any one or more of the following methods, namely, 1. Deposits with any scheduled bank, free from any charge or lien. 2. Securities of the central government or of any state government. 3. Securities mentioned in sub-clauses A to D and E.E. E. of Section 20 of Indian Trusts Act 1882. 4. Bonds issued by any other company which is notified under sub-clause F of Section 20 of the Indian Trusts Act 1882. 5. The amount invested or deposited as above shall not be used for any purpose other than for redemption of debentures maturing during the year. D. In case of partly convertible debentures, debenture redemption reserve shall be created in respect of non-convertible portion of debenture issue. Redemption by payment in installments As per the article of association, the debentures are to be redeemed in installments beginning from a particular year. The actual debentures can be redeemed usually by the selected draw of lots and the redemption to be made either out of profits or out of capital. The entries will be if redeemed out of profit, if redeemed out of capital, redemption by purchase in an open market. When a company purchases its own debentures in open market for the purpose of cancelling it, then the purchase and cancellation of such debentures is known as redemption by purchase in open market. The company can redeem its debentures whenever they have surplus funds or can purchase their debentures whenever they are available at discount in the market. The journal entries will be done as follows. On purchase of own debentures for immediate cancellation. On transfer of profit on redemption. If debentures are purchased from the market at a price which is above the nominal value of debenture, the excess will be debited to loss on redemption of debentures. The journal entry in that case is shown here. Redemption by conversion. We have already discussed that debentures can also be redeemed by converting them into shares or new debentures. These new debentures can be issued at par, discount or premium. It may be noted that no debenture redemption reserve is required in case of convertible debentures because no funds are required for redemption. Sinking Fund Method a company needs sufficient funds to redeem debentures at the end of the specified time period. So, the company may create a sinking fund and start investing amount accordingly in securities or bonds of other business entities. Sinking Fund Method In this method, 
the company keeps aside an equal amount every year from divisible profits so that necessary funds can be arranged every year at the time of redemption. This is called sinking fund method. The saved amount is invested by the company in marketable securities. An appropriate amount is calculated by referring to on sinking fund table depending upon the rate of return on investments and the number of years for which investments are made. The amount so calculated is transferred from profits every year to debenture redemption fund and its investment is termed as debenture redemption fund investment. These investments earn a certain amount of income known as interest which is reinvested together with the fixed appropriated amount. The debenture redemption fund investments are encashed and the amount which is received is used for the redemption of debentures. If company incurred any profit or loss out of the encashment of debenture redemption fund investments, that is also transferred to debenture redemption fund account. The steps used in working out sinking fund method. 1. Find out the amount of profit to be set aside every year with the help of the sinking fund method. 2. Keep aside the amount of profit at the end of every year and credit that to debenture redemption fund DRF account. Working of sinking fund method Steps in working of sinking fund method 1. Purchase the investments of the same amount at the end of the first year and debit debenture redemption fund investment DRFI account. 2. Receive interest on the amount invested at the end of each subsequent year. 3. Purchase the investments for the amount of profit set aside and the interest earned every year except last year, year of redemption. 4. Convert the investments into cash at the end of the year of redemption. 5. Transfer the profit or loss on sale of investments reflected in the balance of debenture redemption fund investment account to debenture redemption fund account. 6. Make payment to debenture holders. 7. Transfer debenture redemption fund account balance to general reserve. Journal entries would be done as follows. 1. At the end of the first year. A. For setting aside the fixed amount of profit for redemption. B. For investing the amount set aside for redemption. 2. At the end of the second year and subsequent years other than last year. A. For receipt of interest on debenture redemption fund investments. B. For transfer of interest on debenture redemption fund investment to debenture redemption fund account. C. For setting aside the fixed amount of profit for redemption. D. For investments of the amount set aside for redemption and the interest earned on DRFI. 3. At the end of last year. A. For receipt of interest. B. For transfer of interest on debenture redemption fund investment to debenture redemption fund investment account. C. For setting aside the fixed amount of profit for redemption. D. For encashment of debenture redemption fund investments. E. For the transfer of profit or loss on realization of debenture redemption fund investments. F. For amount due to debenture holders on redemption. G. For payment to debenture holders. H. For transfer of debenture redemption fund account balance to general reserve. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned in this module. Debenture is a written document that acknowledges a debt under the common seal of the company. 
bond is used by semi government or non government organization for debts a debenture holder is a loan creditor of the company whereas a person who is having the share of the company is become the owner of the company secure debentures are that kind of debentures for which a charge is created on the assets of the company in case of payment defaulters in unsecured debentures there are no specific charges on the assets of the company but at times a floating charge can be created on these debentures by default redeemable debentures which are payable at the time of expiry period in lump sum or in installments during the lifetime of the company in irredeemable debentures the company does not give any commitment for repayment of money borrowed by issuing debentures the debentures which can be converted into equity shares or in other security are called as convertible debentures these debentures cannot be converted into shares or in any other securities the debentures which are issued at a specific rate of interest are called as coupon rate debentures registered debentures are those debentures in which all details of the debenture holders like names addresses and particulars of the holding of debentures are entered and kept in a register by the company debentures are said to be issued at par when their issue price is equal to the face value when a debenture is issued at a price below than the normal price then it is said to be issued at discount when a debenture is issued more than its normal price then it is said to be issued at premium when the number of debentures offered to the public is less than the number of debentures applied by the people then it is said over subscription a collateral security can be defined as a secondary or additional security other than primary security when a company takes a loan or overdraft from a bank or any other financial institution